Welcome to Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, Arizona for the 2003 Fiesta Bowl between the Miami Hurricanes and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Let's go to the sidelines where college's two unbeaten teams are set to play for the national championship right here on ESPN Classic. And, and as we come to the Rio Grass Field here, which is Sun Devil Stadium, home of the Arizona State University Sun Devils in Tempe, Arizona. It is also where the Arizona Cardinals will play. And in future times, maybe next year, whenever they can get it done, there will be a new stadium at Glendale. Here's your kickoff. Seavers hitting it. Maurice Hall and Chris Gamble waiting. And it goes deep into the end zone and will come out to the 20-yard line where the white-shirted Ohio State Buckeyes will have it. Claret, Maurice, a pair of them. Claret and Hall in the backfield for the Buckeyes. Crimson looking to throw, pulls it down and takes off. He hits the 20, goes to the 24-yard line before he is brought down by Sean Taylor. It is third down and six. Crimson with good protection. Very good. Can't find anybody to throw to. Running out of time. Gets it away down the sideline in complete. Andy Groom's punt was a 56-yarder. And the Hurricanes start at the 20. Back quickly goes Dorsey. Down goes Dorsey. Knocked off balance behind the line of scrimmage by Big Will Smith. And so there's a loss on the first play offensively for Miami. And it's third down and 15. The ball is on the 15-yard line. The wideouts are Andre Johnson, Ethnic Sands, and Moscow Paris. Back goes Dorsey, getting one block to help him out. Goes down the middle with it. The ball is caught by Johnson. Johnson is a big man at 212 pounds, and he picks up a first down at the 35-yard line. It is third down and five. The ball is on the 40-yard line, and Dorsey goes back under center. The pass is thrown to the right side. The pass is completed for the first down to Andre Johnson. He picks up another five yards to go with it. Chris Campbell, Gamble at 180 pounds, 6'2", wrestling with a man who is 6'3 and 2'12". And uh, a freshman in these circumstances is in deep order. The ball is on the 49-yard line. For the first time tonight, my team is on the other side of the field. Dorsey is caught behind the line of scrimmage all the way back at the 45-yard line by Kenny Peterson, one of those big tackles we were talking about. But he will also see double duty as a three-way player returning kickoffs and punts. Busy night tonight for Chris Gamble. And good news for the Buckeyes. C. Grant is back in the ball game. Dorsey comes short to the sidelines. The ball thrown a long way to the sidelines. It's completed to Kellen Winslow. And in the melee, Winslow will fight his way down to about the 44-yard line. All right, here's the punt by Freddy Capshaw, who got to Miami from Rock Springs, Wyoming. It's going downfield, down to the goal line. Ball rolls around. Canes try to kill it, and it looks like they did just short of the goal line. And Antoine Roll came down and threw his body on it and pinned Ohio State right against their own goal line. Third down and three. Want to put it up. There it goes, and it is incomplete. It is intended for Claret. He's begging his case. He gets no answer. You got double wide, wide receivers to the top of the screen, and you move Eric Winston, a tight end, in there at that blocking back position. And Dorsey going back will set up the throw, goes down the middle with it. The pass caught by Winslow, and he's all the way down inside the 25-yard line. He's a tight end in a wide receiver body, and he's got almost sprinter speed. C. Grant made the tackle. So on first down, they go back to McGay. He's pinned behind the line of scrimmage. Down at the 25-yard line, a loss of two, and it's Kenny Peterson who gets there first for the Buckeyes. Big tackle. Keith. Yep. That's a good, cool-headed senior quarterback for him. Wouldn't waste the play or waste the position. Andre Johnson, keep your eye on number five. Dorsey going back. Blitz up the middle, steps away from it. Ball's in the air. Pass is caught. It's touchdown, Miami. Roscoe Parrish. Keith, 
this is why Ken Dorsey has won 38 games out of 39 tries as a starter for the Canes. He manages the game well. Maurice Hall. Chris Gamble. And here's Todd Seavers kicking off. This one might, no, I don't think it'll go. Oh, they're coming with it. And uh, they get it to the 15-yard line, and that's all. From the 15, first down, Miami leading 7 to nothing. And Pencil rolls to the right. Looking for help. Gets it all dead downfield. Fight for position, and it is... Intercepted on the rebound by Sean Taylor. Chris Vance downfield under the ball. Two defenders against him. It bounced off one and into the arms of Taylor. Dorsey back. Wants to go for the juggler right here. He goes to Johnson, and Johnson is up close to midfield. This is a trademark of Miami's quick strike offense. They averaged a little less than two minutes in their possessions that resulted in scores. Three and a half minutes roughly remaining in the first quarter of play. Miami seven to nothing. Their first down at their own 49-yard line. Dorsey turns and gives to McGay, and again they take him down short of the line of scrimmage. It's Matt Wilhelm with his second tackle for a loss. Second down and 12. Dorsey hands to McGay, and again he can't find any running room. Number 54, Tim Anderson grabs him and takes him down in a hurry. Out of the shotgun, Dorsey with time. Goes shopping and throws complete to the 45-yard line on the Buckeye side of the field to ethnic Sands, but that is short of the first down. He's on the far side, top of your screen. Prinzel goes into the shotgun, pulls it down, and takes off. Looks like single wing football. And he'll get it out to the 20-yard line, and we spend a moment with Lynn Swan. Okay, Swan is second down and 10. The ball is out at the 20, and uh, Gamble's out of there as... We get Hamby back into the game. Good play action. Uh, Prinzel's pass is right on the hands of Michael Jenkins. And Michael Jenkins will pick up a first down for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Chris Gamble is back in. Claret to the outside. Cage struck him down and get him right about the line of scrimmage as Roger McIntosh was over there to greet him. Well, and I'm not so sure that... Uh, Claret wasn't supposed to give the ball to Gamble on the reverse. They had blockers out in front, but he decided to hang on to it and paid for it. The Buckeyes gamble on running out of a field goal opportunity. Nugent 24 out of 26 this year and career 12 out of 17 from 35 yards. They don't get their first down. And they lose the opportunity at three points. Miami comes back to the attack now from their own 17-yard line. Here's a penalty flag from across the way as the play is McGay. He is taken down all the way back around the 12-yard line. Uh, Tressel is going to regret that decision. I mean, that's a, almost a sure. I know there's nothing sure in this world, but... Illegal formation on the offense. Illegal formation against Miami. The Dorsey sets to throw it, and goes to the sidelines, the pass is caught by Ethnic Sands, and that will be a first down for the Hurricanes. Ball just short of the 30. Back goes Dorsey, looking, throws, and it is caught down the middle, and it is good to about the 34-yard line to Jason Gethers. Now let's spend a moment with John Saunders and Terry Bowden. Third and six. Pass hummed, intercepted. Buckeyes have it. That's Mike Doss. 30, 25, inside the 20 before he's pulled out of bounds by Willis Begay. Dorsey threw it hard, and it ricocheted to Doss. Lydell Ross is in there as the single back now, a sophomore from Tampa, Florida, 210-pounder and the fastest of all the Ohio State tailbacks. And he's got the ball. And he finds some room. 
A little slip and slide left and then right, and he's down inside the 15 at the 13. Third down and five. Pass is thrown, pass is caught. It'll be a first and goal to go for the Buckeyes. Chris Vance made the catch right in front of Glenn Short. Good pass by Krenzel. At center, you've got to change. Nick Mangold has come in at center. That's a tough place to make a substitution at center. Miami's looked like they were offside. Yeah, I think uh, Vince Wolfert, seeing that freshman center in there, thought he'd try to get a jump on him. But he was jumping all the way through the neutral zone and offsides. Second down and goal at the two-yard line. Mango is still in there at the center spot. Frenzo gives it to Ross. Ross picking his way in the he's melee. He's in. And they roll forward into... Not quite. <laughs> it looked like for all the world he was going to be able to roll over the top and get in the end zone, and they wouldn't let him. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown. No, I don't think so, Keith. That's a one-arm signal by the Now this guy on this side put that two up. Fourth down. Now he's taking it down. So it's it's inches. That's a, another questionable call and decision by Jim Tressel. You put Claret in the game, and you don't use him. Stepanovich has gone back to the center spot. Mangold, a freshman, had been in there, and he couldn't root a hole. Now Stepanovich is in. Claret is your tailback. Fourth and a half a yard. The quarterback keeps it, and he's in there. Craig Krenzel went off the right side of the center behind the guard and Olivier, and he got just enough for the touchdown. Remember, this is a Miami team that averages 42 points a game. Talk about great Buckeye defense. They've been stressing patience, patience, patience. We'll see how patient the Miami Hurricanes can be. It's Andre Johnson standing back there along with Jason Gathers now for the kickoff. And this is rooted. I mean, it's beyond the field of play. Pretty good combination of defenses for Ohio State. Unbelievable for Miami. No yards rushing. McGahee, nine rushes, eight yards. Dorsey sacked twice for a minus eight. That's how you get zero rushing. So here they come. Dorsey back. Has a roll. He's hit. The ball rolls loose. Bean back goes down. Ohio State ball. Kenny Peterson knocked it loose. Barry and Scott recovered it. Lydell Ross is the running back, the deep back for Ohio State. Quinzel hands it to him, and he's running in the middle for about four yards. The snap of the ball was from the 14-yard line. D.J. Williams made the tackle. Second down and eight from the 12-yard line. Across comes number 94, William Joseph. Let's see if the Buckeye moves. Second down and three now as the ball goes to the seven and Maurice Claret is the tailback or the single back. He's got it. He's got a touchdown. Alex Stepanovich, the center, made it happen. We talked about just how punishing a runner he can be and how decisive. Now this game is being taken over by Ohio State at the end of this first half. And so the Buckeyes have converted two Miami turnovers into touchdown and they lead 14 to 7 with a minute and 10 to go to the half. The kickoff. High, long, beyond the field of play. Nugent, big leg. From the 20, here come the Kings, and they're handed off to Willis McGahee, looking for the sideline, and he finds it about nine yards. Keith, I think that's the first time they've tried to get McGahee to the perimeter. It is. And with his speed, that's a good idea. Now the Kings go to the shotgun. they got three wideouts, and Dorsey's got a lot of time. 
comes this way with it, goes short to McGay. And Willis McGay makes the catch for the first down, move the chains, it'll go up to about the 33 where it's a first down. Michigan. Dorsey turns, gives to McGay. He's looking for some daylight. And the Buckeye defense doesn't give him much time to go shopping. They shut the door on him pretty quickly with Bill Smith finally taking him down. Third down at 12. Ball on the 32. Under center, turns, gives it to McGay. He's got some room here, but uh, they've got him a yard short of the first down. And the clock shows 10 seconds and counting in the first half. Canes come up without a huddle. Trying to get one more play, and now they decide, and let's go to the clubhouse and see if we can sort this thing out. So at the end of the first half of play, it is 14 to 7, Ohio State leading Miami in the BCS National Championship game. Mike Nugent will kick off. Gathers and Johnson wait for it. The kick again will not be returned. Hard to get a run back against Nugent when there's no win. Second down and seven. Dorsey turns quickly, throws, passes, caught. First tackle missed, second tackle made. It's Roscoe Parrish who makes you take a deep breath every time he gets the ball in his hand. Johnson, Sands, Parrish, the wide outs, third down and three. Dorsey getting pressure, gets it away, dumped it to McGee out of the backfield. Hammered, and it looks like he's a little bit short of the 30-yard line, and he took a lick from Dustin Fox. Instead of lowering his shoulder, decides to spin back to the inside. He lost track of where he was on the field and what he needed for the first down. He came up a yard short, so they punted away with uh, Freddie Capshaw kicking it to Chris Gamble, who lets it roll around on the ground, and it'll roll dead at about the 27-yard line. Ivan Douglas is in there at the tackle spot now, left side for the Buckeyes as they have their first possession of the second half. Craig Kunzel gives it to Maurice Claret. He spins out of one tackle and will get a couple of yards, moving from the 27-yard uh, line to the 30. They get a three-yard pickup for Claret, close to four, as the ball is finally put down just short of the 32-yard line. Got it again, going to the outside. Broke the tackle, gets the first down. Gets up across the 40-yard line, and he stepped on the chalk at the 42. He ran out of the tackle of Maurice Sykes. Third down and 15. Benjo deep, down the sidelines, gamble! It's down inside the 10 and fumble, but he is down. He's down at the six-yard line. Alfonso Marshall caught him from behind. Benjo keeps it. Throws it to the end zone, and it is picked off. Picked off by Sean Taylor. He threw it right to him. He had double coverage on his intended receiver, and no chance to get it there, and Claret Claret took it away from ball. Him. Yes, he did, Keith. Maurice Claret with the play of the game, perhaps, as Sean Taylor going down the sidelines, reminiscent of George Teague of Alabama stealing the ball from Miami a few years back. Ball's Watch in the Claret wrong hand. Ripping. It should have been in the other side, shouldn't it? That's a great point, Keith. But did he really pull it away? The officials say yes, he did. Mm, close. Right now, they're looking at third down and 12. Easy. And there's not much there for that one as uh, Krenzel rolling around trying to get loose and run to the left side where he saw a lot of green grass, but he couldn't get to it. It's a good size kick, though. It's going to be 44 yards. Room holds. Nugent's got a big leg. He's kicked every one of the kickoffs into the end zone. Puts the foot under it, plenty of leg on it, and it's good. And the Buckeye lead goes to 17 to 7. As they're threatening Miami's 34-game win streak. Kane's coming in with that mark. And Toledo is ahead of them at 35. And, of course, that Oklahoma streak of 
47 consecutive wins is way out there. It's a, a remarkable streak for Miami when you consider the scholarship restrictions. This kick is a line drive to the goal line. It's taken by Andre Johnson, and he's coming back with it a long way, all the way to the 39-yard line. Johnson. Miami with the ball now, down by 10 points here with 8.22 to go in the third quarter of play. They possess the ball, first down at the 39-yard line. Dorsey comes up for him, and the pass is caught by Kellen Winslow, picked up of about... Six yards on the play. Pretty heads up play for a freshman, 19 <laughs> years old, to make that. <laughs> so, yes. Dorsey wants to go deep, goes down the sideline. The pass is incomplete, intended for Andre Johnson. He was a little short. Krenzel is the game's leading rusher. He has 10 carries for 51 yards and a touchdown. And he's back looking for a receiver. Let's go to the sidelines. Has him. Throws it right on his hands. No problem with it. He's out of bounds. Michael Jenkins had that foot on the line on the chalk and he does not get a catch. Yeah. Run it with McGay. He's Took a lick right upside the head as he crossed midfield and goes down at the 49 yard line. Donnie Nicky hit him. And that will help settle down Ken Dorsey. For second down and nine. After that penalty. Down the middle. Hook. Winslow. Just a bullet down the middle of the field, and Kellen Winslow had broken free and makes the catch in front of Fox. Boy. And then you add the attitude. Good package. Run it, McGee, to the outside. They put him on the chalk at the 21-yard line. They give him all the way down to the 21, and that's close to a first down. Consider Winslow. Very big possibility here. They throw it underneath. It goes to Winslow. And he's going to have the first down as he gets past the 10 yard line and gets stopped at the nine by C. Grant. McGahee to the outside. Looking to see if he hit the chalk and he didn't. So he just simply outran him into the corner. The pivotal punt of the moment at least as we start the fourth quarter of play. Andy Groom should hit it around the 13. He does. He gets some air under it. It's not his longest of the night, but it's a good one. And it's going to go dead on the sidelines and roll out of bounds. And it turns out to be a very good punt. Quick shot to Roscoe Parrish, 20. Second down and two. They run for it and they get it with McGahee. And they had to coattail him because he was close to getting out of the pack. He takes the ball across the 40 to the 41. Second down and six. Quick shot again coming this way to Ethnic Sands, and that's another first down. Dinkin and Duncan. Third and ten. Shotgun. Dorsey a lot of time. Pass thrown in the middle. Pass is caught by Winslow. He's past the marker. First down, Miami. Dorsey. Setting up a screen. Or bust up the screen. I mean, they bust up everything. Will Allen coming like a truck. Takes on McGay. He and takes him down. And the trainers are on the field in a hurry for Miami. McGay, he is down. Yeah, this is a real serious hit. Will Allen put on Willis McGahee. Here we have now a 54-yard field goal try Both by Todd easy. Sievers. It's no good. His longest in his career had been 53 yards at Florida. But that one was just a little bit out of the zone. You got four wideouts, five wideouts now as they flex a, a tight end. And it's second down, and Krenzel's pass short of the first down marker to Michael Jenkins. Jenkins drops his shoulder and pounds it and gets the first down. 
He'd have gone down just flat on his back. He's drilling it on him. I don't know. <laughs> Throwing. Bullet. Pass caught. 40 yard line. First down to Chris Gambo. You need pass blocking. That's how you figure that out. <laughs> Second down and five. Tarrett gets loose again. He just kept pounding. He bounced one way, came back the other, and he's going to move the chains. And it's third down and 12. Tarrett. Benzel takes off. He's going to take some punishment here. He gets it down to the 25-yard line. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And here comes Mike Nugent. This is a 42-yarder. Andy Groom holds it, and Kyle Andrews is the snapper. Boss kick! Missed it. And they're watching what is clearly the best of all the BCS championship games so far. Down the middle, ball thrown to Kellen Winslow. He might break this big. His legs are taken away up at the 35-yard line. He picks up a first down. Six minutes to go in the game. Ohio State leading by three. Just missed the 42-yard field goal. A little short pass drilled again to Kellen Winslow, and that will pick up the first down to the Ohio State 49-yard line. Shotgun, Dorsey. A lot of time. A lot of time. Finally lets it go down the middle. It's caught by Roscoe Paris, and the ball comes out. And Ohio State pounces on it. The beanbag is down, and the Buckeyes recover it. It's Will Allen with another big play. On third down and four with four wideouts. And 349 running on the clock. Pressure coming. Benzel steps away from it. Got a chance at the first down. He cut back into the middle of the field. If he'd have gone to the outside, I think he makes it. Here, I'm not sure. Never. Third down and six. Shotgun. Benzel. Deep coming. Steps away from it. Throws it. Oh! Almost picked off by the team. But not quite. And here's the punt. Andy Groom puts some air under it. Drives it back to the 25-yard line. Here comes Roscoe Parrish. Harris getting to the sidelines, gets a block! And he's finally taken down, all the way down the field at the 26-yard line. Big return by Roscoe Parrish, and a huge block by Gerald Weaver that kept him going. Three wide outs on the left side, Dorsey directing traffic. Pressure, hit, down, 30-yard line. Simon Frazier. Sacked back at the 30. 40 seconds to play. Miami with one timeout. Just to remind you, third down and very long. Dorsey gets it away. Underneath it goes to Jarrett Payton. And Payton struggles inside the 25 to the 23. Has to be this time. Has to be. From 40 yards. Chris Harvey snaps. Catch our holes. But we're going to overtime. You get four snaps of the ball just like a regular game. You can make a first down. And here's Dorsey throwing complete to Andre Johnson, who has been very quiet in this ball game tonight. He makes that catch down around the 15-yard line. Third down and one for the first down. They run it, and Peyton is knocked out of bounds at the eight-yard line, and that's the first down for Miami. Ball is at the seven. We're at second down and goal. Dorsey throws to the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> Kellen Winslow making the catch. There's a penalty flag, I thought, thrown by the back judge at the back of the end zone, but he's talking to the referee now. 
If anything, it would probably be holding. Blitz coming. Russia got him. Back at the 29-yard line, it was Jamal Green. Huh? They go with three wide outs. We've got two protectors back there for Crenshaw. Now one of them runs away, Florette. And Crenshaw steps up and goes to the sidelines, and that's good for the first down. Caught by Michael Jenkins. Jenkins is not out there. Then I would be looking for Chris Gamble over the middle. He came off the field. Here goes uh, Crenshaw. He's at the five-yard line, and he is hammered. He took a wicked shot to the head and he went down hard on his back. Taylor and Vilma hit him and he gets up. First look will be to Jenkins on the slant route, but Hartsock could come up big here tonight. Well, he did once this season in one of those uh, knuckle busters they had. He stepped up and, and made the catch and won the game. Had a TV catch against Cincinnati and one against Wisconsin, but none tonight. There's Jay, there is uh, Hartsock right there. Claret's up there as a, as a wide out too. The ball goes into the end zone and it is incomplete. Intended for Gamble. Now there is a penalty flag thrown. Hold on. Hold the phone. Everybody comes running down on the field. You got to get off because there's a penalty flag thrown and I think it's against Miami. Andy Crystal. Yep. Glenn Sharp, 31 on Chris Gamble, number seven. Oh, that's a tough call there. What about this angle? Bad call. Bad the, call. The left hand. I don't know if the left arm was there too soon or not. I think the ball got there before Glenn Sharp did. The legions will be diminished. Trenzo sneaking. Touchdown. So a kick will tie it. And we'll go around again. Well, let's see here if we can get it this time. Well, Prenzo will do it himself, and he just jumps right on the hip pocket of the center, and Bryce Bishop, and he rides along with him and has the first down at the 11-yard line. First down at the 11. Prenzo wants to pass, now does, and has it completed. Down to the five-yard line to Michael Jenkins. Second down from the five. Claret. Touchdown! Well, Maurice Sykes couldn't do it two plays in a row. He had Claret right at the line of scrimmage and could not make the tackle as Claret sidestepped him and accelerated through a huge hole and into the end zone. Second down and 11. Ohio State has the lead in this second overtime by seven. Dorsey's pass incomplete. He was pressured. He was trying to get the ball to Kellen Winslow. And Dorsey may be hurt, Keith. He took a hard hit, and he's having a little trouble getting to his feet, but he's trying. But the key is, what about Dorsey? If Crudup can do something on third down and ten to get him a first down. With only two plays left for Miami unless they get a first down. And put up back and throws and throws the ball is caught by Hill, the fullback. And Quadrant Hill moves it down for a good eight yards before he was belted out. Three measly yards, and they're going to come with three receivers to the wide side of the field as Winslow is at the tight end spot right here. I would say he would be the man. Dorsey's pass. Good. They've got the first down. Down at the 10 yard line, it was Winslow, and there's a penalty flag. Hold the phone. Late flag after the play, Keith. The play, a gain of seven. 
face mask. Five yard penalty. The game was sufficient for a That puts guy. him on the five yard line. Wow. Dorsey throwing, tight in, missed him. Had him. Eric Winston, uh, the freshman tight end, had gone in there and the double tight end alignment broken clean and clear. And Dorsey missed him. Third and goal from the one. And it off to the fullback, Hill. And Matt Wilhelm stops him. Well, the ball is actually a little short of the one yard line now. It is fourth down, the final play, unless they can stick it in the end zone. Andre Johnson, Roscoe Parrish. And Kellen Winslow and Dorsey under pressure. Throws it. Incomplete. The Buckeyes win. C. Grant was the man who pressured Dorsey, and now the party begins for the Ohio State Buckeyes. They are 14 and 0. And they are the national champions of college football. And they did it their way, Keith, with defense. Right down to the very last play. Brilliant call by Mark D'Antonio. Bringing the corner blitz rather than linebacker off the corner. And C. Grant forcing Dorsey to put up a prayer. The tough guy of the night, Prinzel. Craig Prinzel, quarterback, Ohio State. Through the ball, he played. Threw the ball 21 times, only completed seven. He ran the ball 19 times for 81 yards, and he scored twice. And he's got a million bruises to show for it.